Today we're building a Kenya Top Bar Hive from plans that we got for free off BioBees.com. Uh, what I have here is a, a piece of uh, cedar that I've ripped to one and a half inches. Uh, typically this would be pine, I just happen to have some cedar scrap, but uh, it doesn't hurt that cedar is weather resistant. So I set up the chop saw here for a 17 inch length, and, and uh, if you don't have a chop saw you can use a hand saw with a miter box, or you could use a circular saw, but just having this set up with this stopper on the end just makes this uh, a little bit faster uh, to cut. Okay, so the brood nest needs an actual little bit of a smaller one because they're going to want bigger uh, cells for the honeycomb. So we're using inch and a half for honeycomb and we're going to use inch and a quarter for the brood nest, which means we have to make a quick rip cut on the table saw. I have a piece of plywood here that I'm going to set up a, a 12 uh, inch wide cut for here with the circular saw that I'm going to use to cut out my follower boards. So that means I'm going to take a, uh, I'm going to clamp this out at 13 and a half inches so that it can have room for the table, uh, circular saw. I can do a little test cut. This is the final sanity check here. And we're right at 12 inches. So that's, that's my, I always do that. That's just the way I do it. This is per the instructions. We're going to take a, make a mark here at 15 inches and at 7.5 inches. Okay, draw a center line to the bottom edge. Center line. That's off your seven and a half inch mark. You're going to need a square for this step. So just make sure that's on there. Okay. Mark 2.5 inches either side of the center of the bottom edge. So 2.5. That's here, and if I'm able to do math correctly, here. Flip the page. Join up the dots to make a trapezoidal shape of the follower boards. All right, this is fun. So we line it up there with that. these kind but we're gonna do our best. Okay, now take your pattern and Take your pen, your ballpoint out first, and then draw your line. I'm gonna go with that. Just make sure they are in fact the same, close enough for the federal government. I'm gonna make a uh, line down the middle. I don't know if this is a if this is a good strategy or not, but I think it's gonna help me get this thing centered. This is 14 and a half essentially. So and this is 17. Man, we're really mm. testing math today. So that's two and a half inches divided by two 
Yeah, it's water quarter. to quarter. <laughs> Shut up. And then, let's put a bead of glue down. All right, they tell you to let it set overnight, but we're kind of impatient, so we toenailed it temporarily with a couple of finishing nails. And now I'm gonna pre-drill to get ready for my screws. So we don't all have time to be waiting for things overnight. Clean up the squeeze out. Hope bees like a uh, tight bond too. What do you think? I heard they love it. All right, come over here. Tell us. Huh? This is how we square them up. You just take your level or your square here, and uh, just make sure they're parallel to each other. Have this end flush on each side, and everything's uh, parallel and square. You just kind of dry fit everything. Alright, I ripped another piece of uh, 12 uh, inch wide plywood here. I'm going to mark uh, 18 inches here. These, uh, this, uh, these old shell wood I got are really sturdy, but they're a little bit warped, so they'll all come together when I screw it. Now I'm gonna drill three pilot holes for screws. Look at that. Well, let's do four. Just because I want it to be extra secure. What we got here is a couple pressure treated 2x4s. Um, they, they say in the guide 3 feet, but you can adjust it to length since I'm rather tall. I'm going 3 and a quarter foot. Right yeah, now. it is. That's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clamp it this way. Okay. I know, but that's... I mean, isn't that wrong? You're right. I, I mean... You are totally right, Joe! No, it is wrong. It is a hundred percent freaking wrong. <laughs> you want to measure five inches on the. Okay, <laughs> let's try this. Let's try this again. <laughs> Sorry, just making sure. I thought no, I was no, going no. crazy. This is why you're here. Okay. I would have bolted that fun the wrong way, and that would have been bad news. <laughs> So I'm just using a couple clamps here, and uh, we lined up the line on the outside edge, and then we have just this little bit hanging off that we're gonna lop off when we're done. Just a note here, you wanna make sure, just flush it up on the one side. That's kinda what you're trying to do on the, on the inside, and then the outside's gonna overhang, and uh, that's the part that you're gonna cut off, because eventually you're gonna have this to be flush. Okay. okay. I'm gonna put one here. Looks pretty good to me. Maybe down a little bit. Right Just there. make sure you don't run into our wood, yeah. that's all. I think I'm good there. Yep. All right, so grab a flat washer. I'm gonna just put that through there. And then I'm gonna put a lock washer on the other end. And these are a three inch three eighths uh, hex, hex bolts. I'm just gonna hand tighten everything for now and then I'm gonna go back through and cinch everything up. Rinse, repeat. Okay, so I notched this board at the end and then what I did was I measured this leg. It was 26 inches, so I made a mark 
at 26 inches on this one and just made sure that they are lined up so that this could stay at that same angle. It's top bar time. We got it. Let's see if we can uh, not destroy everything in the shop. That is mighty fine! Look at that! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, All right. now we want to hillbilly those things off. Yep. Alright. Don't try this at home. What do you think, Joe? Bad idea? This will work. It almost worked. <laughs> Good enough for government work. So these are our top bars and, and for the bees to get a hold, there's different ways you can do this. Some people uh, 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 will nail a molding onto it, but we're just going to add a little bit of glue. I ripped this wood to, uh, one eighth of an inch for to match my blade and then I'll just stuff that in there. Let that set up. I need that top bar for some reason. Is this really? They just sit on top like this? Yep. There's no edge? No. They just literally just sit on top like that. Hence top bars, yep. And that'll finish up our top bar hive, which we assembled in one night. Yep. We might want to do entrances too, but other than that. Oh yeah, 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 the entrances. <laughs> so for okay. drilling your entrance holes, measure in 24 inches, make a mark, measure up, two inches so there's our entrance hole one and then two inches up about well let's see we need to go three inches from that one on either side so you don't need to be super exact I mean they're bees they're not going to know they're not uh, that smart just yet or if they were they probably would not care Okay, so I'm going to try and stay as straight, perpendicular to this board as I can, just because it'll make it a little easier to put the corks in. In the winter, we're going to reduce the entrance to one hole with uh, putting a couple corks in it. Alright, so when, uh, when you want to be able to make splits or, or do artificial swarming, you need, um, you're going to need some other holes, so you go to your opposite side now. and. Um, Measure in five inches and then measure up two inches. Like I said, it doesn't need to be exact. Make a mark, come to your other end, do the same thing. Five up to two inches. Clear out all the little chip out. The bees will uh, fix up any kind of imperfections with propolis, so you don't have to worry about sanding anything down. The bees will take care of it. 